This video is about a total body bench press variation. When most people bench press, because of the fact that they're arching their back as they press, it's really very isolated to chest, triceps, shoulders. Theoretically, a lot of muscles would be involved in the bench press if someone were actually grounded appropriately. But because most people are so extended when they bench press, whether it's because of a competition or that's just the way they learn to do it, they are really very, very ungrounded. And most are probably overusing their neck quite a bit because of this lack of groundedness. When you're bench pressing in a position which you're overarched or extended, which you're generally taught to do, you by definition will be using your neck to breathe and of course a lot of people who exercise a lot a lot of people who lift weights a lot a lot of people just in life general are overusing their neck for primarily for respiration for breathing so the and then as you start to overuse your pecs and your lats for all exercise because who doesn't want bigger pecs and bigger lats but those are extension muscles. They just throw you into that pattern harder. So a bench press is not the greatest exercise for people who are already suffering from neck pain, back pain, uh, tension all over their body because it's a really tension inducing exercise unless you do it in the way that I'm going to show. Now, here's the picture of the setup. In this position, because my feet are on a uh, it's a rogue. You can see the box in the back, rogue. Uh, rogue makes a lot of good boxes. So I just put a, I think it's a 12 or 13 inch rogue box underneath my feet. The reason I do this is because it allows me to keep my back flat. It allows me to keep my back out of extension because in this variation, what I want to do to make it a total body bench press rather than just a pecs, just pec, shoulder and triceps and lats that are holding you in extension, I want to make it more of a total body bench press and I want to use it as a test of how grounded I am. In this position, because of the start position, because of the box, I can actually feel my hamstrings and glutes. Okay. I'll also be able to feel at the top of the bench press, you'll see my arms press up and then they'll, they'll reach slightly back. At that point, I'll then also feel my abdominals engage and I can feel my middle and lower, well, I'll just say trapezius muscle area, but I'm not feeling neck whatsoever. No neck is being felt. I'm doing it with a close grip, which has always been thought to be more of a tricep dominant bench press. Uh, whether it truly is or not, I don't know. I haven't read the studies on it, but that's what we were always learned, so maybe it is. But either way, I'm doing it with a, a closer grip. It's not a close close grip, but it's a closer grip. And that's how I'm doing it. And I'm using it as a total body. I would use it as more of a warm up. If you're going to bench heavy, this is something you could do as a warm up. I don't really lift heavy anymore, so this is pretty much the only bench press I do. Uh, I do do. I also do alternating dumbbells, but with a straight bar. And I don't usually use straight bars quite often uh, because of it kind of forces the right side and left side of your body to do the exact same thing at the same time. And that's really not how humans move. But if you're already neutral and stable, you have a lot of leeway in what you can do because I know I'm not going to go back into the pattern. Uh, I'm not going to extend my body when I do this. Plus, I'm keeping my body out of extension by using the box and keeping my lower back flat as I bench press. So now I'm going to show the actual video. And here we go. So I unrack it. Again, I'm sent, my heels are pushing into the box, so I feel my hamstrings and glutes. And there I move the arms back, and that's when I feel my abs engage. I'm, pro I'm breathing in through my nose, out through my mouth. I inhale on the way down, and then I exhale on the way up. I'm trying to get the air out, and that's where I feel my abs when I bring my arms back slightly. And that's really all there is to it. My scent, my awareness is on my heels and my lower back pressing into the bench and my heels pressing into the box. And so I'm turning this into a total body bench press variation. I do feel my, I see my triceps and my, my chest also, but when you overuse, and I'll finish it right there, when you are overusing your pecs, you'll likely be also overusing your lats because they just 
they kind of go hand in hand in extending you and then preventing you from being able to breathe appropriately. You're going to lose your diaphragmatic activity. This is pretty standard. Uh, you'll over engage your neck because these pecs and then the anterior neck all get overactive to help you breathe. And this doesn't only happen for people who are lifting a lot. This is what you find in all types of people that I help with posture restoration. Uh, so you could use this as your own little test. Can you feel in this position, can you feel your glutes uh, and or hamstrings? Can you feel your abdominals? Can you not feel your back? Can you not feel your neck? Uh, if so, then you're probably a pretty well-grounded uh, individual. So if you struggle with the air part, what you should do is watch the video that I made about how to blow up a balloon. Adding, learning how to blow up a balloon will really help recruit your abdominals to help you get uh, your ribs functioning properly for, for breathing, and that will help ground you better also.